Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams, and welcome to the second video in our Learn From The Pros series on Adobe After Effects. In this video, we wanna get you started off right by taking you on a tour of the After Effects interface. I remember when I first started using After Effects way back in high school, so in like 1999, 2000 kind of time, and it was pretty intimidating opening the After Effects interface. Now, granted, I was in high school, so everything was intimidating to me at the time, but I can totally sympathize that when you first open the program, there's a lot to look at. There's a lot of windows, there's a lot of menus. What does any of this stuff even do? Well, don't worry. We're gonna take you through the four kind of most essential areas that you wanna be looking at and getting to know early in your time with this program. So when you first open After Effects, probably looks something like this, just a jumble of windows everywhere. And before we get into them specifically, I wanna turn your attention to right up here. This is the workspaces bar. This is where you can toggle between different arrangements and different configurations of the interface. So right now we're working on standard, but maybe you wanna work on a minimal interface setup, or maybe you're working on text, so you can toggle over to the text windows that are important. Setting this space up and really making it your own is key to being efficient in this app and really getting comfortable in here. So let's get on to the windows you're likely to touch the most. Those are going to be the project panel, the composition window, the toolbar up at the top, and then the timeline down below. So the project panel is where all of the stuff that we bring into After Effects is going to live. I'm going to go ahead and open up a project I've been working on, and you can see it's full of a bunch of folders, compositions, and footage. It's very similar to a project window in Premiere, and it does the same thing. We can create folders using this little button down at the bottom to keep us organized. Notice at the top we have all of these columns, and you can add more and choose what information goes up there, and you can sort everything up and down by type or name or even special comments. This is your essential tool for keeping everything organized at a project level. Right next door to that, we have the composition window. This is where the magic happens. This is where all the elements you bring together in a scene are going to live, and you can can see them all here visually. Navigating and understanding the composition space is essential to being able to lay out your compositions and to preview what you've created. And the important thing to remember about this space is whatever you see here is what's going to be exported when you render off your file. This is what things are going to look like. Now, it's hard to talk about navigating and understanding the composition panel without talking about a few tools up at the top. Up at the top here, you have the toolbar where all of those tools live. And right now we have the selection tool activated and you can use that to start selecting things and then you can start moving them around if you'd like. Or right next to that, we've got the hand tool. If you select the hand tool and start clicking and dragging, you start moving our view around so we can pan around the composition with that. And next to that is the zoom tool where clicking will zoom you in, holding alt and clicking will zoom you out, but you can zoom by simply scrolling on your mouse scroll wheel, and you can pan around by simply holding down the space bar and clicking and dragging around. So these tools will help you navigate around that composition panel. And in fact, these tools can help you navigate around the timeline as well. The timeline, you'll notice, is displaying all of the layers that live inside of the composition, but it's displaying them on top of each other. So whereas in an editing program like Premiere, all of your layers can be laid out next to each other, in After Effects, everything lives on top of each other. And this is where all of those layers are represented. You can navigate the timeline by again, holding down H to get the hand tool, clicking and dragging. And it's important to remember that on the timeline, we're representing where we are in time. So this little line here that we can click and drag around, that's called the playhead. And that tells us what time we're looking at. And if you look at the bar right above it, that is telling us what time the playhead happens to be at. The timeline here is where all of your layers live and you can twirl into them and start examining and modifying all of their properties in here. But the timeline and the composition window are where so much of your work is going to be happening. Now, granted, there are a lot of other windows that you can get into. Oh, there's the tracker. Oh, there's all the effects panels, but don't worry. We'll get into that stuff later for now. If you know about the composition, project window, the timeline, and the toolbar, 
you're good to go. You're ready to get started. In the next video, we're going to get in depth about compositions. And then later in the series, we're going to talk about layers and start animating them. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Evan Abrams for Adobe Creative Cloud. Stick with this series. We'll keep learning from the pros like me about how to get you comfortable in Adobe After Effects. Thanks again and see you in the next video.